got something to show you. It's a photo, that's right. A selfie, yes. I was in Salzburg. It was back in October. You weren't with me, no. You were here. Was Steph with me? Uh, no, she wasn't. Where was she? I'm not sure, Maud. I think she was at work. Why was I there? I was on a trip. How long was I there? I was there for one day. Did I like it? Yes, I did. It's a beautiful city. I had one problem, though. Well, the day I went, it was a holiday, so all the shops were shut. Yeah. To be in the past tense works like to be in the present tense. Instead of I am, you are, he is, we say I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, they were. For questions, was I, were you, was he, etc. And in the negative, I was not, you were not. Except we nearly always say, I wasn't, you weren't. And that applies even to formal writing. I was in Salzburg. You weren't with me, you were here. The shops were closed. Was Steph with me? No, she wasn't. She was at work. The past simple, or simple past, we say both, is for talking about the past. That's right, Mutt. In a simple, factual way. The things I said about my day in Salzburg, for example, are simple facts. I was on a trip. It was a holiday. The shops were closed. It happened. It's over. It's finished. It's past. What did I do in Salzburg? Well, I went to Mirabel Palace. Yes, and I walked around the gardens. It was a lovely day, so that was nice. And then I did a city tour. On a Segway, no, not on a Segway, on foot. Yeah, well, I also went to the art gallery and I looked at paintings because I always do that. And then, of course, I saw uh, Mozart's house. Yeah, well, the house where Mozart was born, yeah. Did I also have lunch? Yes, I had lunch in an Asian restaurant. Was it good? No, it wasn't good. It was terrible. Uh, the food was expensive and it wasn't very good. I made a mistake, yes, Mott? I made a mistake. Well, we all make mistakes. I went to Mirabel Palace. I saw the house where Mozart was born. I did a tour of the city. I had lunch in an Asian restaurant. I made a mistake. I walked around the garden. I looked at paintings. Why don't you tell the viewers what you and Steph and I did yesterday? We went to a museum. And after that? We went to a bar, correct. And we ate lasagna and drank beer. That's right. And we laughed and we talked and we played silly games. Yep. And then you and Steph got up and danced. Yes, that was funny. <laughs> we, we partied, sort of, yes. And we came back late. Yes, that's also true. You had a good time. Oh, that's wonderful, Mark. So did I. Steph did too. How do you know? Well, she told you. Oh. Let's take a quick look at the past simple tense of verbs other than to be. The good news is that, as you can see, the form of the verb doesn't change. So it's easy to remember. I went, you went, he went, she went, it went, we went, they went. The other piece of good news is that the past tense of most verbs is easy to form. You just add ed. Laughed, talked. Or if the verb already ends in an E, like dance, you add a D. Danced. If the verb ends in a vowel and a Y, like play, we add ED as normal. Played. 
But if the verb ends in a consonant and a Y, like to party, the ending changes to IED, partied, P-A-R-T-I-E-D. With verbs that end in a T or a D, like visit or end, just make sure you pronounce that extra syllable. Visited, ended. We visited a museum. The party ended at midnight. Now the bad news. Yes, there's always bad news, Mott. The bad news is that there are quite a number of irregular verbs which form the past tense in a different way. Go becomes went. Do, did. Come, came. Have, had. Tell, told. Just for example. There's no way round this. Most of these verbs are very common useful words and you just have to learn what the past tense is. How many of these verbs are there, Mott? You're a mine of useless information. Ah, a flyby. I see. Thank you. What is it? Are we going to provide a list of these verbs? Uh, no, we're not. Oh, you can find lists of these verbs everywhere. In most student dictionaries, for example, uh, in most English textbooks, and of course online. All the viewers need to do is type in irregular English verbs into Google and they'll find them. No, yeah, exactly. For what's coming up, you need to know these two words. Grasshopper and nail. And nail is also a verb. So you can nail something into the wall, for example. With a hammer. Yes, Mott. You've got a joke. Oh no. A hooper went into a pub and he stood at the bar and said, Whore, whore, have you got any grasshoppers? And the bartender said, No, we don't sell grasshoppers. So the hoopoe walked out. The next day, the hoopoe came back and went to the bar and said to the bartender, Whore, whore, have you got any grasshoppers? And the bartender, a little angrily this time, said, No, we don't sell grasshoppers. And the hoopoe walked out. So the next day, the hoopoe came back and went to the bar and asked the bartender, Whore, whore, do you sell any grasshoppers? And the bartender said, no, we don't. And if you come back again, sunshine, I'm going to nail your feet to the floor. And the hoopoe walked out. So the next day, the hoopoe came back, he went to the bar, and he asked the bartender, do you have any nails? And the bartender said, no. And the hoopoe said, good. In that case, do you have any grasshoppers? <laughs> well, I hope you all survived that. The hoopoe is always the clever one in your jokes. It's just an observation, that's all. What's next on the agenda? Uh, pronunciation. Well, it's just that my students have such a problem with it. Yeah, that. You've got a poem about it. Oh, great. Yes, please do. Read it. I heard you the first time. I read it. It's an experimental poem. Well, I'll tell you this. The title is almost longer than the poem. Okay. Princess Evangelina gets ready for her wedding. Her mother brushed her hair. Her sister kissed her cheek. The waiting maids fixed her braids. And the frog watched. And the frog watched. Just put it up. I guess I should have more faith in you. The point here is that with these verbs, verbs that end in SH, 
SS, X, and CH, the past tense is pronounced as one syllable. Brushed, kissed, fixed, watched. It's a T sound. Watched. Here are some more. Can you say them? Washed, missed, mixed, attached. Now, what about the past tense forms of hear and read? They turned up in the conversation I just had with Mott. The past tense of hear is heard. The past tense of read is read. One way to remember this is that heard rhymes with word, and red is said the same way as the colour red. Ah, question from my friend here. Why, with the verb read, is the spelling the same? Because that's English for you, Mott. It just is. Did you do all the things on your to-do list this morning? You think so? Well, let me check, huh? Did you make your bed? You did. Did you clean your feathers? You did. Did you have breakfast? Did you wash up after breakfast? You did. Good for you. Did you buy a birthday present for Trilby? What did you get him? I thought he already had one. Oh, well that was nice of you. That was a good idea. Okay, so here's how we make questions in the past simple. First of all, you'll remember that in the present simple, we make questions with do for all verbs except the verb to be and modal verbs, verbs like can or must or should. As in, do you make your bed every morning? Well, in the past tense, instead of do, we use the past tense of do, did. Did you make the bed? Did you clean your feathers? Did you have breakfast? Did you wash up? Did you buy a birthday present for Trilby? Did I, did you, did he, did she, did it, did we, did they? It doesn't change. And the main verb, make, clean, have, wash up, stays in its basic form what we call a bare infinitive. That's the infinitive form without the word to in front of it. Okay, here's a mini questionnaire for you. Can you make the questions? Here are the answers. Did you get up early this morning? Did you have coffee for breakfast? Or did you drink coffee for breakfast? Yes, Mott. Did you go to work today? Now let's go back to Mott's to-do list. As you can see, he's checked off everything. Can you say all the things he did? Here are the answers. He made the bed. He cleaned his feathers. He had breakfast. He washed up. And he bought a birthday present for Trilby. Did I do all the things on my to-do list? I don't think so. Did I make my bed? No, I didn't. Did I clean the car? No, I didn't. Did I write to my friend Mark? No, I didn't. Did I take out the garbage? No, I didn't. Pretty lazy, huh? You think I'll be in trouble with Steph? Well, I'll tell you what, Mud. 
I think I'll do all these things later. I always say that, do I? As with questions, it's the do part that changes in the negative, while the verb stays in its basic form. I didn't make my bed. I didn't clean the car. I didn't write to my friend Mark. I didn't take out the garbage. Now, what else didn't I do? What did I do? Here are the answers. I didn't buy washing powder. I didn't ring my brother. But I rang the electric company. Now let's go back to our mini questionnaire. First of all, can you give a short answer to the questions? Say what's true for you. OK, now Mott's going to ask me the same questions. So here are my answers. Did I get up early this morning? No, I didn't. Did I have coffee for breakfast? Yes, I did. Did I go to work today? No, I didn't. Now, just for practice, see if you can turn these questions into full answers. We don't reply like this in real conversations, of course, so it's just for practice. Again, say what's true for you. OK, here are the answers. I had coffee for breakfast. Or, I didn't have coffee for breakfast. I went to work today. Or, I didn't go to work today. I slept well last night. S-L-E-P-T, slept. Or, I didn't sleep well last night. I brushed my teeth this morning, or I didn't brush my teeth this morning. How did you do? Oh, Mott, I'm sorry, we don't have time for that today. Oh, Mott's angry because there was something else he wanted to do. A story called The Blue Door. We'll do it in a separate video, Mott. Is that OK? Uh, what's the idea with it? It's a story where the viewers get to practice their past tenses. Oh, that's a nice idea. Well, we'll do it in a separate video, and then you can take all the time you want. Agreed? Happy? Almost. I promised you a strawberry. Mm. Bigger! Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.